Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought it'd be fun to do a speed build over on Animal Crossing New Horizons. It has been a while since I've done that and I don't know, I just totally miss making videos about Animal Crossing, so here we are. So this is what my island looks like right now. It is almost done. I completely tore it apart a while ago and yeah, I've just been doing a lot of terraforming and recently I got a hold of the new items, thankful to have such great friends who always sends me things and helps me out because I honestly, I don't have time to like go on treasure islands and collect all of these and yeah, I'm just super thankful to have like amazing Animal Crossing friends. Um, so thank you guys, you know who you are, you're amazing. Anyways, today, as you can tell from the title, we're doing kind of like a bakery area. So I have all the items there on the beach. I've collected everything that I want to use. I have my DIY thing over there in case I need to change a few things up. I have my shed and garbage can and yeah, so this is the area. It's really close to my campsite and also my resident services and kind of like by nooks cranny and stuff like that like it's really easy to find and yeah i just thought this would be a great place for it it was either here or near the beach like on the rocks and i thought like putting it here where it's kind of enclosed by the cliffs and trees kind of make makes it a little bit more cozy in a way so that's why i put it here and so here you see me just placing down some wood partitions. I love this item in the game and I really love how it comes in different colors. So I chose, I think this is like the darker um, wood color. I don't think this is the darkest or it might be, I'm not sure. But I went with that and then I also um, wanted to use a plant partition here in the front just to kind of frame it a little bit better and give it a little bit more dimension so I put a plant partition there and right behind it I placed a wood partition I just really like how this looks against each other and then back here I'm just putting down more wood partitions to really like enclose the area I decided not to have this super close to the cliff like that I guess I don't know I just thought it looked better and then here I'm doing the plant partition and then the wood partition again and do you see the gap I'm like trying to push it so it's plushed up against each other but that's as close as you can get it and I think it looks so funny so from this view I I'm not like a huge fan but look at it from this view it looks so good but really boom why why anyways let's go ahead and keep going <laughs> So here in the front, I'm placing down the new shop sign and I love how this one, you can customize it with any pattern and it's already there, you don't have to do like a custom code. And also this plant is my all time favorite right now, it just looks so nice and full. Another favorite of mine is this party light, oh my goodness, I'm running out of nook miles because I have this all over my island, same with the pergolas. And then here I thought it'd be great to have a counter table with some wedding cake and bread just so you can kind of see what's in the bakery, you know what I mean? So here I'm going to fast forward a little bit. I was trying to figure out what type of pathing to use, um, if I wanted to fill up the entire area or just do like random patterns like the bricks. And I was trying to find the curtain partition here. <laughs> So I decided to place that kind of in the middle, that's where the counter is going to go and then I continued on with the custom pathing and I just went with the brick just because I wanted it to look worn away. I was going to use my other pathing just to really square this, this area off but I thought that would be a little too much. So yeah, I just went with this um, brick pattern, just kind of like randomly scattering them around, making it look worn away, kind of. So that's just what I'm doing here. Nothing really too special, I feel like, but I did really like how it looked in the end. And then here I decided to place the covered counter. I love this item. I also placed an antique cash register and afternoon tea set on the counter. To close this area off, I went with a barrel and some candles and then of course the dessert case right here oh my goodness if I had the room I would have added another and here I'm just checking to make sure it's all aligned <laughs> 
So behind the counters, I wanted to do kind of like a small kitchen, but nothing too crazy. I just wanted something to fill in this area. So I went with the stonework kitchen. I just think it's so pretty and it kind of went with the whole vibe. Also tried to place a barrel there in a corner to like really close it off. And I just had kind of a hard time placing it there, but we finally got it. And then I realized, oh, I didn't put any padding down in this area. So I picked everything else up and decided to put some random brick patterns here and there just to kind of make it look a little bit more finished. So that's what I'm doing here. Once I'm done with that, of course, I need to put everything else back again. So here we are. And then going on to the side where there's going to be chairs and tables, I decided to do a little bit more of that brick pattern. Again, just kind of randomly, I wanted to really make it look worn away and nothing too like precise, if that makes sense. So just randomly placing patterns down. And then for the chairs and table, I went with the ranch chairs and then the tables. I chose these small covered ones. I just really love how it looks. And yeah, that's pretty much that. The chairs, I went with like a darker brown and then I just went with the plain white tables. I also placed a serving cart here with some fancy tea, I believe that's what it's called. And then another table here. And then on the other side, kind of by the counters too, I placed down a serving cart. So I actually ran out of ranch chairs, I didn't have enough so I placed down or decided to use the iron garden chairs for the meantime. I did end up ordering more ranch chairs so the next day I did change it up. Um, but I didn't think this looked that bad. So that's pretty much it you guys. This is my bakery area on my island. I really do love how this looks and I think even you know in summer and spring it's still gonna be really good but since it is christmas time right now i think later on like later today i'm gonna put down like a christmas tree somewhere just to make it look a little bit more festive than it is but anyways i hope you enjoyed this little speed build let me know your thoughts in the comments below and if you want to see more let me know as well and yeah thank you all so much for being here please subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it and i will see y'all soon in my next one bye